Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about the cost of doing a full restoration on a Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, I'm going to give you a breakdown of how you can, what you can expect uh, to restore your Beetle and also give you a breakdown of what we usually charge when it comes to our Build-A-Bug program. Um, I get this question a lot and a lot, I think a lot of people head into a restoration in the dark. Uh, they have a general idea of what it's going to cost to put a bug together, but then when they start diving into things, uh, things can get kind of haywire. And they, and they, many, many times I see the cars go over budget or over your particular budget, and then what happens is the car sits, and then they lose interest, and then they got to sell, and yada yada, so the, the ball just keeps turning. So uh, let's give a quick breakdown of what it costs, generally speaking, um, uh, to do a restoration. Now, if you are... Uh, trying to get all your ducks in a row. The best thing to do is I what I do is I do a work order for each car uh, So basically I have you know like an Excel spreadsheet or something and you write down and you jot down everything uh, That you throw into the car you want a parts list you want a, a paint list you want an hours list of how many hours you put into the car uh, and then generally speaking um, you know in today's day I'm talking about America now I know in some countries things are completely different uh, when it comes to uh, getting your car painted or what mechanics charge I don't know those other countries uh, but in America uh, I'm and I'm in the Northeast which is a pretty high costly area uh, for when it comes to overhead and, and what some services charge but generally speaking across the country in the United States this is pretty much the same um, now it's always going to benefit you if you want to do the work yourself. The more you job out, of course, the more money it's going to be because you've got to hire somebody to do those services for you. Uh, so the best thing to do is to try to do as much as you can uh, in, uh, under, under your roof uh, with your skill set and uh, watch YouTube videos and, and learn for free. Yeah, it's going to take time to probably watch these videos and to learn things, but in the end, it's, it's not going to cost you as much. Uh, so generally speaking, I always tell people um, that Mo if you want a really good paint job, and most people do, I know a lot of people will call me and say, look, I just need a driver, I don't need anything perfect. I know, every in the end though, people still want the car to look really good. And if you're gonna go that far, uh, I would go the extra mile and get a really good paint job just because if you have to turn around and sell the car in the end, it's gonna bring you that much more money. Because uh, if you chintz out on the paint work, and, uh, and I pointed out in many of my other videos of what looks cheap, um, you can see that 90% of the cars out there that are on the market, and it's saturated right now, uh, they most likely have a backyard job, a Mako paint job, or something like that, which is fine. Those cars are fine, but in the end, just understand the return and value on that might be lower. So generally speaking, I think a good paint job today is going to probably run you anywhere between $7,500 up to fifteen grand for a Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, a bus is completely different. I hear some of the buses go into the 20s, even the $30,000 range because they got all those side panels and such. But a Beetle, uh, when it comes down to media blasting it down to bare metal, which is what I'm going to want, you're going to want to do, and uh, any sort of other body work, maybe it's support rails, you have heater channels, you have floor pans, that sort of thing uh, can start bringing costs up. So you might spend more money on a solid car to bring the paint job price down or you buy a, a real major project car, a rust bucket style type car, and you're gonna spend then more money on the paint and body work. If you can do the paint and body work yourself and you know somebody that can maybe come in on a weekend or something uh, to do some of the heavy metal work, that can keep costs down than hiring a body shop to do the paint and body work. So generally speaking, you're looking at, I would say, for a good paint job today, uh, with all included from, uh, like I said, uh, metal work, media blasting, that sort of thing. I would say anywhere between 7,500 and 15 grand. Sometimes more, I've heard some other astronomical prices, but that's where we generally fall and I, because I do job out my paint and body work. So then when it comes down to parts, so parts today, like I have two different years here and they're five years apart, okay? Um, the earlier you go with the Beetle, the more the parts are gonna cost. So the more you head back towards the 50s Beetles, the more the price cost is gonna go up for parts. So uh, in general, I would say you're another 10 to 15 grand in parts. Uh, so I have a 1970 here and a 1965 here. The 70 uh, is a convertible 
and I was able to, I have the parts list at around just over $10,000. So if you look at my list here, it's $10,761.67 and I mark all this. Now, a lot of that is my cost. Um, I do deal with a couple vendors that I'm getting stuff at wholesale. Yes, because I'm a business. So you have to factor in maybe possibly another, you know, 10, 15, 25% more if you're going to if you're going through just a general website like Wolfsburg West, CIP1, JBugs, that sort of thing. Uh, so you got to have to factor that in. The 65 came in uh, just about, uh, about $12,000 in parts. Uh, so you have to factor that in. So now you're already over 20 grand figure just in paint and parts. That's even without buying the car uh, to restore your vehicle. Now in general, we get a lot of new stuff. We do try to salvage a lot of things. You're gonna wanna do that. The more you salvage on your car, you keep the original part on there, whether you have to polish it up and things um, is uh, that'll save you some money. But in general, ballpark, I would say you got to again be in the eight to fifteen grand mark. The earlier you go, of course, the more it's going to be. Oval window bugs uh, that we've done, or even split window bugs, you're probably fifteen grand, maybe more, for a split window uh, to buy parts because they're more rare, and uh, the market sees that they're valuable and they raise the price of those parts. So there you have it, right there, um, and. You know, so you got to keep in mind that, you know, if you want a really good looking car, a really good looking Beetle, uh, you're going to have to spend this sort of thing. Now, again, if you have the skills to do your interior, um, which I have videos on doing that, and that's what I do. I do my interiors. I do all the, the full assembly of my cars, of my, of our cars is uh, fully assembled here in shop. The only thing I don't do is body work. So I send that out, uh, but everything else I do. So when I log my hours, when it comes to assembly, tear down and assembly, I have another list here. So I log all my hours, everything's by date. And what's great about the Excel program is that it can do the math for you real easily. You don't have to go in there and punch, you know, every day in by a calculator or anything like that. So if you learn a little bit of Excel spreadsheet work, uh, it's always good to do and it keeps a budget uh, for your vehicle. But uh, in general, I had for the 70 Beetle, I had full, over 400 hours, 430 hours just in tear down and sending it off to the paint shop. And then when it com comes back from the paint shop, reassembly. So again, we're doing all the chassis work, you're re resealing things, new wiring harness, new insulation, brand new top, doing the seats, painting the seat frames. Um, all the mechanical work on the front end, the rear, the motor build, all that stuff is calculated in hours. So in general, you know, we are $100 an hour. And so if I have 430 hours into your vehicle, you're at $40,000 in services. Uh, so that's where, you know, when you hire us as a Build-A-Bug uh, specialist and for restoring your vehicle, this is what it comes out to. Um, so many times it's gonna far, the restoration costs are gonna far outweigh what the vehicle is worth. Um, so keep that in mind, um, you know, and even when it comes to you then wanting to resell your vehicle in the end, rarely do um, uh, sellers uh, calculate their hours uh, that go into the, into the vehicle. So yeah, uh, many times you're going to be losing money as opposed to uh, gaining money. But if you just look at the, uh, the paint and parts and you just go by that math, good chance you can make some money. So uh, that's a quick video today, guys. I mean, that's in general, I'm, I'm giving a rough um, a ballpark here uh, to many people. Again, it, depending on what part of the country you're in, uh, what part of the world you're in, these costs can vary. Uh, but generally speaking, parts costs are gonna be around, you know, the 10 grand mark, even maybe sometimes up to 15 grand. That's what I see right now in this day of 2018 in August. Uh, these fluctuate, of course, as the years go on. Of course, they pretty much go up as the years go on. I used to get Beatles done in the bag under 10 grand, say 10 years ago when JC Whitney was around when I was first starting out and I had a smaller budget, of course. Uh, but, you know, when I look back at some of the work that you, you do in the beginning, you can see why it cost only that much because I got paint jobs done for a few, you know, a couple thousand dollars. Uh, we didn't have our shop, so I wasn't established. I was trying to save. And uh, in the end, um, you know, as, as time goes on, you get better and better and, you know, uh, uh, things start to change. So, but as far as our Build-A-Bug program, that's generally it. And then when I, people ask me, you know, lately, what's, what does it cost for, uh, you know, us to build you a bug? 
We're starting at 45 grand now, um, and that's for a really basic restoration, bare bones. Um, you know, that car better be rock solid, uh, with no major rust repair, no accidents uh, that need to be fixed. Uh, so that's a straightforward car right there. But most of the time they don't come in that way. And generally speaking, now the restoration costs are getting anywhere between 55 to 65,000 uh, to do a restoration for uh, a client. Um, so keep that in mind if you want to hire us to do your restoration. You know how the, the quality of our cars, how they come out. Uh, they come out stellar, show quality cars, concourse looking cars. So if you want something like that from our, uh, our business, Classic VW Bugs, give me a shout. Uh, we are still over a two, two and a half year wait. Um, I'm working on that, guys. I'm trying to get it done fast. I got 12 clientele projects in my lineup right now. Um, and uh, it's still me and Pop, really, uh, doing the work. Uh, so anyways, that's that tip for today. Uh, generally speaking, you're probably around 20 to 30 grand to restore your own vehicle to make it look like a show car, a concourse car. Um, if you want a driver, you could probably cut back a little bit, but then again, if it comes time to resell the car, you might not get that back. So, okay guys, uh, hope all is well. If you've got any questions, pop me an email or leave, uh, leave it in the comments section below and I'll try to get back to you. Okay, take care. Hey guys, just another friendly reminder that we will be hosting our second annual New York Air Cooled Vintage Treffen Sunday, September 30th, 2018 in Haverstraw, New York at Bowline Park. It is one Bowline Plant Road in Haverstraw, New York, if you do a Google search. I have information in, in the description below, a link uh, that goes to my website to give you more info about the air cool dub scene at the New York Vintage Treffen. It is a beautiful location, guys. I hope to see you there. Take care.